everyone, welcome back to another Michael and Marnie Monday. Today's topic is highly requested. It was probably the most requested thing in the comments from last week's video, and that is budgeting. There is a lot to talk about on the subject of budgeting. There is. This one has a lot to say, but to keep things kind of condensed, we're gonna do it bit by bit. Right. So today's video is really just gonna focus on how to get started. How to get your arms around expenses, basically. Because they say that knowledge is power, and with this little trick, it's not really a trick, but with this step, we're gonna give you the knowledge to have power and the control yep. over your money, which is huge. So, And huge for problem. relationships, right? Yes, Reduces I will say that stress. what we're telling you is not, like, we're not preaching it to you. We're not saying, right. this is what you need to do. This is coming from 18 years of living this way. Really, I mean, it, it, it's become a way of life for us. It's as yep. simple as breathing. And because we've uh, lived under a budget for our entire marriage, it has taken so much stress and so much of the fighting away from what yep. could be a very tumultuous relationship. So these are just our suggestions to you. Everybody's life is different, but we've used this budget when we had nothing and right. when we've had more than nothing a little bit of something so no matter what your budget is i would say is, that what we're talking about today are just fundamentals right. that apply regardless of income level because we've been through kind of a all kinds whole uh, range a spectrum of income whether levels. you're married or single kids or no kids absolutely we're gonna help walk you through what we've done in our lives and what's helped us tremendously so michael's going to walk us through the very first step which is knowing where your money is going we all know how it gets to into our bank accounts but where does it go after that where does it fly off to yeah so how do you how do how do we start so, this what did we yeah. what do we do what we did at a very early point in our relationship is we basically identified those um entities or people that we had to pay every month right and every quarter or every year and so we came up with a concept of identifying our expenditures or our payments that we had to make uh, on a monthly basis on a quarterly basis and on an annual basis so we refer to that as MQA. MQA. So what we're talking about is get out your checkbook, look over your credit card your old invoices. statements, yep. and if it's for me and for Michael, we like just good old fashioned pen and paper. Write out every single expense that you've had first. You know, a month is okay, but ideally at least a quarter, yep. half a year. A ideally, look over longer. a whole year, write down every single bit of money that went out, not just the and, big stuff. Right. And, and to can, whom they went to. Right. So identify how much, to whom it went to, and the method in which you made that payment. Yeah, and then Those you can really group important. that into categories. Right. So we have three umbrellas. Right, exactly. The MQA, which is one umbrella. Right, which is your monthly bills, your quarterly bills, and your, your annual, annual bill. bills. And they're recurring. Right. Every month, quarter, or annual, we have to pay. And we'll go over that, I guess, in a, in a subsequent right. video as to some of those things. What those line you, items you line are. Those out. Yeah, okay. But what our goal is for us and what we recommended, what we recommend, is that you take your total sum of expenses for the year. Right. And you divide it by 12. Right. You do what you call, you pro rata that amount down. Right. Uh, to create kind of an escrow account or a holding account. Because even though you might not pay everything monthly, some things are paid quarterly or annually, you want to make sure that you've, on a monthly basis, set up a budget yes. so you're accruing enough money in that little escrow account to make sure that when the bill becomes due quarterly or annually, that you are confidently able to cut that check and tender that payment. For that's an example, we're going to make up a number that's easy for me to add up. So okay. we pay our property taxes once a year. Right, annually. Right. right. Let's just say it's twelve thousand dollars because I can multiply a thousand easier. Okay. <laughs> okay. So We're not thousand dollars a month, right? <laughs> right. So you know, some people that bill comes and they're thinking, "Oh my God, That's a where am I going to get twelve thousand dollars?" That's a big bill for That's anybody. A, I, I mean, don't care who you're. That's a big bill. Right. Yeah. Yes, of course. So what we would do um, with our fictitious property tax That's is. Right. In our budget, we know we have a $12,000 bill once a year, right. but in our heads, we pay it monthly. That's right. So we set aside $1,000 in our little... We actually make a payment to this ourselves. kind of escrow account, right. this holding account called MQA, and that's actually what our account is called. Yeah, we have, yeah. And yes. after 12 months, when we've got more comes, than enough oh, money look, sitting in there to there make that is. payment. And we've been waiting for it. Right. And that's how you want to view expenditures or expenses. Uh, as if, hey, I've been I've been waiting for this. I'm just waiting to write that check. Exactly. Uh, you may not be happy about it, <laughs> no, but you're definitely waiting it. for it. 
And it's That's not just for big ticket things. It's yeah. we're any kind of monthly expense. Let's say um, I get my nails done once a month and it's $25. Right. So I've, or Wow, it's twice. only $25 for your nails. It is actually. Oh wow, that's awesome. But let's say I go twice a month, which is more accurate. Okay, it's, so it's $50. And, and it's the hair month. that is the more shocking We're not talking number. about that right now. Okay, good. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, I'm ready for it It's $50 though. a month. So um, in my head, sometimes I go a little bit more often, sometimes I go a little bit less, but it averages that we're not talking not about my hair anymore. <laughs> we're talking about, on average, it's about 50 bucks a month. Okay. So in our budget, Michael's already put that as a line item Absolutely. is, I need to set aside for the year, yeah. what's 50 times 12? $600. $600, yeah. But instead, of, we just 50, 50 divvy that out. Yep. So we're not going to talk about too much <clears throat> into like how we're setting up the categories, but right. the big thing for starting a budget for us was to figure out what the how expenses yeah. are. And to not be judgmental out of the yes. gate. The first thing you want to do is don't criticize yourself because you'll get disgusted, you'll get frustrated, it'll actually be counterproductive. So my recommendation, because at least it's worked for Marnie and I, right. is to just get your arms around what you are paying out monthly, quarterly, annually. And, and then we just can talk. figure it out and, and, and then write it down and see it. But and look the at best the thing you can do is just don't criticize it. There will become a time and a place where you can start doing self critical analysis with your spouse or significant other or yourself. and figure out a plan or yourself. You know, where to cut things, where Absolutely. you're overspending. I yeah. have to admit, when I added up how much I had spent on makeup last year, I almost had a heart attack. You know, when you spend a little yeah. at a time, you're not really keeping a running total in your head. But this, I am. You, yes. But you didn't see, <laughs> you didn't see the makeup side of it. <laughs> no. And um, when, when I saw that, I was like, whoa. Um, so it's helpful to get your... Knowledge is power. Yeah. So this first step in budgeting that we did, and we continually um, we, we make we, changes uh, and what I recalibrate. Call, we recalibrate it on a regular basis, typically on things an change. annual basis. Things yeah. do change to the, for the better and the worse. Sometimes things go up a little bit. You know, inflation sometimes right. applies to some of these items. But uh, on the other hand, you know, sometimes good things happen. Like yeah. kids get older and they get jobs and they're less expensive in certain ways and more expensive in other ways. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that. If they're that good yet. drivers, that could be better. Yeah, they could be good students. But then students, you have to budget for the insurance for that. Yeah, but our really point do. is this is just the first step. That's um, the first we're going to talk next about how to break down those expenses yeah. into categories and fit them into where your income is. But for right now, um, we recommend if you want to start budgeting the way we do, yeah. just look at your expenses. And one final point in terms of expenses. When you're going and you're looking at expenses, the worst thing you could do is put your head in the sand. Like, don't intentionally forget about expenses. Every little expense Eating is out, really important. Yeah, every little latte that you, you get at Starbucks, think about Starbucks that as an expense. expense. It's money that's got to go out of your pocket. Yeah, Three. include savings, include everything where it leaves... That's it. That's it. The bank account. And we'll talk about that, I guess, in a greater detail way. Oh, yeah. And it'll be pretty easy to, to see once we set it out. Yeah. And so the, if you a, don't like pen and paper, paper, there are some websites out there. Um, the one I'm looking at to try for us is mint.com. I can't say if it's good or not. Yeah. But um, if anyone has any experience with that, please let me know. Yeah. So we hope that you like these kinds of videos. We could talk for, well, he could talk for hours about the subject. <laughs>
Well, we'll take it from there. Right. Well, it was great to see, talk to you guys again. This is really, I'm having a blast doing this. <laughs> he will see you next Monday. I will see you on Wednesday. So make sure yeah. you're around for that. I promise you the next video will be much more substantive fashion and beauty oriented from uh, Marnie, right? <laughs> um, we'll pick this it? up. Yes, it is. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I'll lead you into it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Don't snort. Okay, later. Coming up on Wednesday, next Wednesday. <laughs> three, two, one. I don't know what the hell I was going to say. Maybe. Okay, three, two, one. As always. Right. <sighs> Shake it out. Okay, and remember. <laughs> Three, two, one. These are the whipper rails. <laughs> now let's get into one of my favorite things to, you know what, I never talk about it as much as I just do it, and that's wear costume jewelry. I don't have a lot of nice jewelry pieces. This is pretty much it. 